Namibia is well known for its long, sandy coastline. Wallfish Bay, located in central Namibia, is also a busy port. The Namibian Dolphin Project has been working in Namibia since 2008, collecting scientific information on the local heavy-sized dolphins, bottlenose dolphins, Cape fur seal and migratory humpback whales. In May 2013, a grey whale was spotted by local marine tour operators and reported to the Namibian Dolphin Project and local Strandings Network. I'm Russ Ozell, an evolutionary biologist from Durham University in the UK. Grey whales live in the North Pacific, so finding one off the coast of Namibia was a bit like finding a, a penguin in Greenland. It's not impossible, but it's pretty unexpected. Hi, I'm Simon Owen. I'm the director of the Namibian Dolphin Project, uh, based here in Volfus Bay, Namibia. And I was one of the uh, lucky team members who got to see the grey whale while I was in uh, Volfus Bay here. Grey whales are actually a North Pacific species. They uh, occur mainly off the west coast or the California coast of North America, uh, where there's a large and healthy population, uh, which is thought to be stable. And there's a much smaller population, which lives off the, uh, the eastern coast of Russia and uh, China and, and northern Japan, called the Western Grey Whale. Very recently, in the last sort of decade or so, there's been some research that has shown that some animals in this Western population do mix up with the eastern population. So there's definitely some intermingling of these populations. I'm Tess Gridley and I co-direct the Namibian Dolphin Project. So soon after the, the news had spread that the grey whale was in the area, uh, we headed out on our research boat. And the first thing we did was take a whole series of photographs of the side of the animal on the head. Um, and using these photographs, we were able to look at the different scars and marks which are caused by parasites. These photographs were then compared to um, known individuals in other populations, including the animal which had been seen off Israel in the Mediterranean Sea. But the animal we were seeing in Namibia didn't match any of these other animals which had been catalogued. We were also very keen to conduct the genetic analysis to work out which uh, stock or population the animal was likely to have come from. And to do this, we took a skin biopsy uh, using a modified dart. We wanted to identify the natal population of this whale uh, using a genetic assignment approach. And the best way to do that was to have as much resolution as possible, so that's why we uh, sequence the full genome. My name is Fatih Sarigal and I've been doing bioinformatics on various projects for five years and I was recently a member of Professor Russ Holzell's lab at Durham University. When Russ told me about a new genome sequenced from a grey whale sampled off the Namibian coast, I also got curious to find out the likely population that it came from since this could make a very long migration. There were different approaches one could take to guess the source population. We collected all the other grey whale genomes available and compared them in different ways with the new Namibian genome. And most striking similarity we saw with the male western grey whale was on PSMC profiles, which estimates demographic history. And on the phylogenetic tree we made from coding regions of the genome. And when we did that, we found that the whale from Namibia was certainly from the North Pacific and probably from a West Coast population, which is uh, comparatively endangered um, with respect to uh, the populations in the North Pacific, the Eastern population being uh, more abundant. The recent work with satellite tagging and matching of, uh, photo photographic matching of individuals has actually shown that some of these Western grey whales have moved across as far as Mexican breeding lagoons. So these are movements of thousands of kilometers. However, these movements are actually pale in comparison to the movement that we've detected uh, from, from these North Pacific, this North Pacific species crossing both an ocean and an hemisphere to get all the way down to Namibia, where we sit in the Southeast Atlantic. It was hard to expect that this gray whale will visit the Southern Atlantic one day and in order to investigate unexpected cases in science, we need unordinary methods. That's what we have tried to accomplish in this study. 